It's post time for the $100,000 Cape and Cutter final for pacing mares, and here they come. And they're off. Luke fires out Grandma Gordy, who's sprinting hard from the outside. Sanibel Island now goes to her outside, moving up toward the rail as they move on to the turn as Dan's Misty is racing in third. Bolero Ultima toward the inside is fourth. Love U40 looks to drop in fifth. Racing in sixth is Have No Secrets. Magical Pride is parked on the outside. Seventh Campbell unable to wrestle back. Love U40, and he's forced to press on now as Sanibel Island has cleared the front, but Love U40 is on the attack up on the outside. Now third as they hit the quarter in 27 and four. Grandma Gordy is now in behind the leaders third as Love U40 continues to challenge on the outside. Have No Secrets underway, and Luke is prone in the sulky with Grandma Gordy. Gordy and Love You 40's off stride. Love You 40 made a break there, so have no secrets now first over on the outside third. Magical Pride picks up her cover. Dan's Misty is shuffled back fifth. Lifetime member third over, sixth on the outside. She's about seven lengths from the front. Bolero Ultima angles off the pylon seventh. The half was in 56 and two. Precious Prana is racing in eighth. Then it's a gap of two and a half lengths to in solid. And Love You 40 is still off stride, trailing the field. And Sanibel Island is controlling the front end with three eights to go. Have No Secrets has been out a long way with that first over bid. Grandma Gordy still up on the bid is locked in the pocket third. Dan's Misty is nowhere to go. Magical Pride comes three wide for her move and Lifetime Member gets a tap with the whip trying to follow her as they hit three quarters in one twenty-five and three and come to the top of the stretch and it's Sanibel Island who's led it all the way. Grandma Gordy with room on the inside. Magical Pride trying to kick on. Have No no secrets fourth between them. Sanibel Island put to the test here. Late pace from Bolero Ultima. Dubay charging up on the outside. It's Sanibel Island holding on. Bolero Ultima coming. Sanibel Island does it from Bolero Ultima and Magical Pride in 154 flat. Returning to the winner's circle, number three, Sanibel Island. Seven-year-old in the pocket mare out of Sanibel Hanover by Tyler B. All by Lloyd or Nancy Arnold and Ed Allred of California. Trained and driven by Steve Warrington. Sanibel Island taking the cape and cutter final in 154 flat. Her lifetime earnings now over 1.35 million as Sanibel Island scores in the cape and cutter. Results have been posted official. Number three, Sanibel Island, 320, 260, 220. Second, the one, Bolero Ultima, six even, four even. Finishing third, number six, Magical Pride, 320. Exacta 3 1 pays 2140. Trifecta of 316 pays 7580. And the pick three of 623, $34.60. Standing by in the winner's circle to make the trophy presentation for the Cape and Cutter. A very special guest joining us tonight at the Meadowlands, the manager of the Minnesota Twins, Mr. Tom Kelly, who will be trackside to make the trophy presentation to the connections of Sanibel Island and winning driver Steve Warrington. Uh, tell us about your strategy coming into the race here. You drew post three. Well, there's not a whole lot of strategy with her. You know, it's, everybody knows how she likes to race. She might be uh, on the front end as tough as any merit ever lived. Uh, she's an extremely talented athlete, and it's just been a real thrill to work with her all these years. Campbell came after you at the half. Are you going to let him go there? Yeah. Okay, and then when the pressure came three quarters there, the track's uh, pretty cold out here tonight. Did you, did you still think you had a one? I couldn't tell. The wind was blowing so bad. I was uh, suffering from the wind chill there. Now, what the, uh, is she going to be racing? Is she going to be bred? How's that work? There's her owner right over there. You can ask him. Well, how about the Overbit series? She'll be here. Okay. Thanks a lot. Okay. Hold up, right over here. Interview. Boyd? Yes, sir. How you doing, sir? Good. When you bought, I think it was 100000 several years ago, were you ever thinking about something like this? No. No way. What, what, did, what did you expect at the time? I thought maybe she'd win a Maryland Sire stake. She's trying out to be a tremendous race mare. Give us a little bit about her schedule coming up. Well, she's in another uh, stake here. I think it starts the ninth. Uh, other than that, we'll kind of play it by ear. 
the yeah, mayor divisions come up a little bit soft this time of year. Ron's girl's not back, popcorn penny in May. And the temptation to race her instead of breeder has got to be pretty good. Yes, it is. And that might be why she might stay around a couple more, few more months. Possible. Okay, Santa Bell Island, is she as good now as she's ever been? She's probably as sound as she's ever been. And you're going to be out here watching her race here next month and another final or so? You bet. Did you make the cross-country trip just for this tonight? Well, I live in Delaware now. Well, you, yeah, but I know, but you've you got friends in California, too. Yes, they do have. Are they watching? Oh, you bet they was. All right. I've got, I've got a good partner, Ed Allred. Well, that's for sure. Lloyd Arnold, it's nice to have you here. Santa Bell Island's over a million three. Just keeps on going. She wins the Cape and Cutter final. One eight six three ten four nine.